Hi everyone, this is Dimitri Pergamonic with MarketChameleon.com. I wanted to discuss really quickly when you're using the options chain about strike selection. So let's assume you already have an idea what you want to do in a specific stock and you're trying to create a strategy and which strikes should you target. So let's look at a couple tools that may help you out with that. And right now, um, like I said, I'm on the Netflix options chain. It's it's set to the very first month with two trading days to go. So let's just go out a little bit further. And now we're on the August uh, 16th, with this, which is 17 trading days to go to expiration. And the first insight that I see up here that jumped out at me is the technical indicator. And this is just letting us know how the moving averages are crossed. You can read about it more by hovering over it. But it's in a bearish crossover. And this kind of indicates to you maybe you should go and read if there's any type of news and or any type of negative events that are happening that may influence what you're about to do especially if the market is going up and you're in a bearish bearish crossover bearish trend then you just want to pay attention to uh what's going on there uh then the next thing i'm going i'm going to go from right to left here is the stock drift over a 16 day hold period so what this is doing is saying that Right now, I'm on August 16th, 17 trading days to go. It's 16th now, 16 now because more than half the day already went by. But as you go out further in expirations, this is 16 days. Let's just go out further. August 30th, 30th, you have 27 trading days to go and so forth. As you go out further, as you go in closer, you're going to have less days to go. So here, what we're trying to do is determine, well, how did the stock tend to perform over a 17 day hold period right if we do an option and we just hold it to expiration historically what are the statistics over a 17 day hold period and that's what this is doing looking in the last four years of data and saying that over over a 16 day hold period netflix tended to move up right the win rate almost 59.7 percent so and the average return over those periods in all our observations has been plus two percent so what this is doing is looking for a drift in a lot of stocks nothing's going on over a long period of time may experience drifts because it's a member of some indexes etfs mutual funds where money is flowing in stock buybacks and so forth so here we see that netflix over 16 day hold period historically has experienced a positive drift 59.7 percent of the time and the average return of all those periods has been plus two percent so if you're looking to target maybe that then you could find strikes that are two percent away right and if you want to do like a bullish call spread maybe you buy buy a strike below sell this strike as as the top strike or any any way you want to strategize around their bullish or bearish now you have a reference point um, using historical statistics then we go to the next one and this is the seasonality and what this is saying is that today today's july 25th the, and the expiration is august 16th so historically we go back 10 years and say during that seasonal period july 25th to august 16th how did netflix perform maybe certain times of year it performs better than other times maybe there's more buyers than sellers more money flowing into mutual funds than coming out so over here what we see is that in seasonality netflix 75 percent of the time during this this calendar period has 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 been higher or drifted higher and the average return of all the periods has been 4.4 percent so that's another reference point where you could find a strike 4.4 percent away and you know right here between 4.2 and 4.5 again now you have two reference two references and obviously you could do any types of strategies spreads butterflies but you're getting you're getting more reference points um to strategize around now another thing really quickly down here you could use standard deviations so for example if you just want to see one standard deviation uh below and above and sometimes if you want to do something like this sell 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 that strike by the strike above i'll just give an example sell the the one the one standard deviation below put and buy something below that so that would that's what this would look like 
an iron butterfly. I'm going to close that out. Another reference point you might want is the 20 day moving average, which is a technical, a lot of people use as a technical indicator. So you could kind of see where the tech, where the 20 day moving average is, the 50 day moving average, 252 day moving average, um, the two week high low. What was the range in the last two weeks? You might want to see that. So here, actually, Netflix experienced a big move. It had, it just had earnings. Uh, one month high low. Another reference point, uh, 52 week, uh, at its average, average up move and average down move in the 17 day hold period. So again, these are strikes where really quickly you could find reference points depending what you want to do, bullish or bearish, where you might want to strategize buying and selling around. Um, so hopefully this was very helpful, uh, and see you guys next video. Bye.